Welcome aboard this Delfino Ohm Trawler 65. As I take you around and show you some of my favorite features on this boat, you'll have to forgive the piecemeal fashion in which this video is put together. But whilst I was filming, the owner was on board at the time and he didn't want to be caught on camera, which I completely understand. But it means that I had to div up the footage a little bit so it might run out of sync. But anyway, sit back and enjoy the video and let me know which is your favorite part of this boat. Also, don't forget the full yacht tour is on my other channel, Yacht Boy. You'll find the link for that channel in the video description. Finally, don't forget to subscribe. For those of you who already subscribed to my main channel, Yacht Boy, you'll notice that this format of my video is very different. This is really just a low key, casual walk around the boat after I finish my main filming, just to point out some of the features which I think really stand out. Everything is my own personal opinion, so what I like you might not, so bear that in mind whilst you're watching. And also bear with me as I increase the quality of these videos. This is a new way of filming for me, but I hope you enjoy it. Now of course my favorite features section wouldn't be complete without a look in the engine room. There's quite a few things that I like about this engine room. First and foremost, you've got an escape hatch on the forward bulkhead. It's something you hope you never need, uh, but should you require one, then it is a lifesaver. Also, I like the fact you've got very easy access to both the port and starboard engines, uh, twin Perkins engines. Now, I'm not a marine engineer, but I can imagine that if you have to work on these engines, the fact you've got excellent access all round must be a big bonus. Uh, obviously got the two generators as well, uh, one port and one starboard side. But everything down here just feels really roomy and very clean, modern, well lit. Uh, it's nice and cool down here, but obviously the engines haven't been running yet. If you're a fan of engine rooms like I am, it's hard not to be in an engine room like this and not say it's one of your favorite features. But for me, I like the space, I like the layouts, I like the spread of everything. Uh, everything is where you need it and really easy to access. I also like the fact you've got ready access to the uh, stabilizer fins as well, or the obviously on the interior, uh, both on the port side and over on the starboard side. And when you look in the bilges, it's just immaculate. You know, I spent quite a few years living on warships and as you can imagine, a warship is kept in a, uh, a state you'd expect a warship to be in. So coming in an engine room like this and just seeing how immaculate it is, uh, it always amazes me how much time and effort must be put in to keeping this space as clean and tidy as it is. Uh, but what do you think of this engine room? Let me know in the comments below. So we're in the pilot's house now. The features I like in here include the fact you've got the L-shaped seating area over on the port side. You've got a helm position which is amidships with excellent visibility all around. If I take you outside the port access door onto the port side deck, another feature that I love is the Portuguese bridge. I always think that a Portuguese bridge gives a boat a lot of character. And again, it kind of resonates to me the fact that this boat is built for serious long range passage making in all weather conditions. We take a closer look. And let's just see how sturdy and how thick that door is. Excuse my knees uh, on this Portuguese bridge. And something I didn't realize, but one of my viewers informed me recently is that technically a Portuguese bridge can't be called a Portuguese bridge unless it has an access door. Something I didn't know. If you've heard that before, let me know in the comments. I also love the way that the deck gear has been set up. Rather than having to bend down and work on the anchor, it's actually just below hip height on this boat, which if you're working the anchor in rough conditions or in windy conditions, makes it a little bit easier to handle everything. This boat is all about practicality and it comes across as being practical everywhere you walk on this boat. I think if you had an owner operator couple with enough experience, you'd be able to use this boat without a crew. I must say, I love the flared bow and the exposed gunnels. I think it gives it a really rugged look and feel. 
and there's quite a good elevation up here on the bow as well i'll show you some images in a minute of how flared the bow actually is but again it just rings home to his sea keeping capabilities uh, walking along the port side deck now heading aft the side decks are really wide i'm not having to pivot in order to get through i'm not a particularly wide person but i don't have to move at all to feed myself through the side deck which is great when you're having to work the lines uh, in a bit of a hurry so i'm in the lazarette now in terms of what I like about a Lazarette, I love the fact that it's full beam. You can fit a lot of gear in here, including this workbench. So if you're going to be off on some autonomous cruising, at least you know if you need to do any basic tooling, you can do it with this setup. Again, I think a Lazarette that's used like this with a workbench that you can use to make adaptions to things to carry out repairs again just hones back to the fact the boat is designed and built for long distance cruising in this lazarette you've also got access to the steering gear over here on the port side and of course over on the starboard side as well you've got some extra storage space underneath the swim deck I'm not sure whether you can see that And we've got the transformers on the uh, bulkhead here. A really nice setup and a great layout. I think everything you need is in easy reach and is quickly accessible. We have a lot of saloons on boats this size. Obviously you have the seating area here, the dining area with the galley forward. But one of the things I love about this space